Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to install and control Air Assist on your brand new NJ3 Pro and NJ3 Max. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, if you got one of the new machines from NJ, uh, either the NJ3 Pro or the NJ3 Max, which is the bigger brother than this one, uh, you have most probably received in the package one of those devices. This is an electro valve, so that's basically going to open and close the flow of air electronically. And as you can see, in this new series of machine, we have um, a completely new main board with a bunch of connectors which are readily available to connect accessories, including the electro valve for the control of air assist. Now, uh, the installation is actually pretty straightforward, um, and so uh, the installation will be very brief. Uh, what I'm going to concentrate mostly is on how you can then implement the control through the software, including uh, the NEGE desktop application, and then the other two most common controlling softwares, which are Laser GRBL and uh, Lightbar. Now, before getting into the installation, there are a couple of things that I would like to point out. So, first thing first, if we take the device and we look at the bottom, we have two M4 threaded holes, and I haven't found any bolt in the kit that I received, so I don't know if that's something that was simply missing on my device or uh, it is like this in default. Anyway, I went ahead and got um, two 10 millimeters um, M4 ball. And the other thing is that um, if you've seen my previous video where I uh, introduced and assembled this machine, I've said that these uh, areas, one is here and one is here, um, they are basically designed to accept the electro valve when installed on top. The problem is that uh, the holes that you can see here, which are actually matching, uh, they are not of, of the right uh, diameter. So, uh, in order to be able to install the electric valve here, we will need to enlarge them. And finally, um, you can see that we have this two location where we can put the valve, or additionally, we can put the valve down wherever we want, it's up to us. Uh, the only one thing that I would recommend if you want to install it onto your machine and not over to the side, uh, I'll highly recommend you to install it onto the y-axis, which is this one, okay, the entire gantry moving, and not onto the x-axis, which is on the trolley. And the reason for that because when you are engraving especially, this is your fast axis, okay? So the last thing that you want is to increase the mass and so the inertia of this, uh, um, this trolley because that may affect the actual uh, quality of your engravings, okay? All right, so I'll now quickly install the device. You will see it fast forwarded uh, and so then we can jump on my PC and to continue the setup from there. Alright, so I ended up using a single screw, for some reason I wasn't able to catch the other side, but it is strong enough and uh, I think that for the purpose it's uh, okay. Uh, now it is time to connect it, um, as you can see we have a decent length of uh, uh, cable here. Now what we want to do is to connect it onto the M08, M08 stands for coolant or in this case with this type of machines, air assist. So just target that and you are pretty much good to go. Now it is time to introduce the hose. Now this is the hose that ships with it. It's a 2.54 millimeters hose. Um, and so out of this hose you will need to cut a small piece to then uh, connect to the adapter. So I will show you exactly what to do. 
Now you will want to pass the hose inside here, inside of the drug chain, so that it's nicely arranged. All right, as you can see, I passed it all the way inside of the drug chain. I passed it through this uh, small hole here on the plate. You can actually go from the other side. That's not a problem. Let me actually do it from here. All right, and now you can go and plug it into your air assist kit, whatever module you happen to have. Okay, there we go. And you're basically good to go. Now you have your hair assist connected there. Now, um, so the hair will get in from here and will then go out from this side. So this is the side that should go to the laser module. So I'll do that right away. I'll suggest you to leave yourself a little bit of a uh, length, okay? Something like this I think will be okay. Then cut it. Okay, and now this one can connect to this side of the valve. You can see that's ready. Now, the reminder, uh, you can either trim it to whichever length you find uh, reasonable, but for this demonstration, I'll just leave it entire. So this will connect to this side. Actually, let's make sure that this is rounded. Okay. The other hand will come over to your adapter. And on the other side of the adapter, you will get your compressor line. Okay. So now you are supposed to be able to test that. So I will start the compressor uh, to see if we got any leakages. All right, so everything is now done. Now, uh, I have a small leakages on this pipe on the other side of the compressor. I'll need to arrange that later. Now, bear in mind that those pipes that you are seeing here, they are not uh, designed to keep who knows what kind of pressure. So right now I have the uh, reducing valve and the output is uh, three bars, okay? That's approximately um, 44, 45 PSI. And so as you can see, everything is good. And over here, I'm not getting any air. So everything seems perfectly fine, okay? Now we are going to jump onto um, the software and we are going to uh, test things out. All right, so here we are on my screen and let's first start with the NG desktop application. This is the latest series. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for the machine to home. Make sure that nothing is on the way of the uh, machine while it moves. Okay, now this is their software and so they made it pretty simple. Just go over to the settings and over here you will see among a bunch of things set M07 and then set M08. Now as I said M08 will be uh, for the air. Now you have uh, two options here. One is to keep it on. Okay, so this will keep the valve open at all time. Uh, and the other one, the one that I uh, recommend is that the air will basically turn on when it's working and then will shut down with the two seconds delay. If you want, you can increase this number. So if you want that to uh, keep on for longer, then it's up to you. Once you're done with that, uh, and this is pretty much default with this new software, just click on save, okay, you can then close, and you can use your software as normal. So let me close now this. Uh, yeah, we can now say, say quit and switch to GRPL mode. And I'm now going to show you uh, like barn. Let's wait for it to open. 
let's connect our machine j3 pro com 10 everything is uh, pretty good all right so uh in light barn it's actually uh, very simple let me first move the laser to a more visible location okay so you can see uh, the machine and the laser module then i'm going to draw a very simple line okay something like this that's good enough um, so now I'm going to move this where the laser is, all right? Now, as you can see here, uh, we have on our layer the hair with the toggle button on and off. So you can toggle them on or off according to your preferences and according to the layer. Uh, but before to actually start for the first time, we want to make sure that the right settings are uh, settled. So we can go over to device setting and over here you can see there is this box air assist m08 m07 so you want to select m08 this is normally uh, the default one so click on ok and now i'm going to uh, engrave at very low power you can see one percent 1000 millimeters it's just to show you what it's going to do it's not a uh, demonstration of uh, air assist itself so i'll click on play And as you can see, the electro valve opened and then closed once the project was uh, uh, executed. Okay, I'll now close this and we will try the same thing in laser GRBL. Okay, now we'll first connect it. Okay, and now here uh, it works a little bit differently there is no air assist option in this software however uh, what you can do if you go over to grbl settings and over to g-code so there are a bunch of blocks of code that you can basically append before or after or in between uh, passes okay and so as you can see every time we start a project um, there is this header, the G90, which is absolute coordinate, which is being uh, put in front of the code. Uh, and then at the end, it's going back to the origin. Okay. So what we want to do here uh, at the start of our project, we can enter a new line and we want M08. Okay. And at the end, we want M09. So we'll this will effectively turn on and then at the end of the project uh, turn off the coolant or air assist in our case and then you can give it on save now we can open okay uh, now first thing first I'm going to frame it you can see over there Okay, and now I'm going to click on start. Now, as you can see, the air opened up. The engraving is ongoing. Returning and as you can see, the air uh, is off. And so this is pretty much all about it. Now, as you can see, the installation is fairly simple and also the control for the software is simple. I think the only software that uh, uh, really get some extra steps is uh, Laser GRBL, where you will need to append this block of codes for the beginning and the end of the execution. But uh, overall, it's uh, very simple and it doesn't take long. All right. So this is the way you go about it. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, click the Famba button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!